We are here at the SSL booth uh, with Luke. Hi, how are you doing? Luke from SSL. Nice to see you guys. Yeah, man. What have you brought to the show? What so, have you got? Um, among all of our outboard gear, um, so obviously you can see our sort of 19 inch sort of series of stuff, Big Six, all of our 500 series, Fusion and Bus Plus, and the Pure Drive um, preamps. We've got our new interfaces. We've got the SSL 18 which is our new 19-inch rack mount interface and the Alpha Rate Expander. And what we're going to look at is how we can utilize both of these to actually control our analog outboard gear as well. So first off, the 18 is a 26-in, 28-out USB 3 audio interface. Um, we've got eight mic pre's built in, and then we've got 16 channels of ADAT and two channels of SPDIF control. We've got our full K button. I mean, I'd so we can pick our channel. We've got our 4K mode, which is inherent in all of our USB audio interfaces. And then we've got a high pass filter, our line mode, and obviously be phantom power with all of this on our really nice uh, bright OLED LED display. The really cool thing about this is the expandability. So alongside Alpha 8, I can add any analog input and output on jack input into my SSL 18, adding an extra level of connectivity. And the Alpha 8 is actually also, as well as being an ADAT expander with eight channels in and out, operates as a USB 3 interface as a standalone. So if you didn't need an interface with mic pre's and you already had some outboard preamps like the Pure Drives, or if you had another interface from a third party company you wanted to expand upon, we can add the Alpha 8 either via ADAT or as an aggregate device, and you can compile it in Mac OS to add an extra level of eight channels in and out. That's We've incredible. got external um, clocking via word clock, ADA and SPDIF, as well as an internal clock. We can change the input values between plus nine and plus 24 dBU for interfacing with pro audio level gear. And, which is really cool, especially that we're at Superbooth, every input every output is CV enabled, so it's DC coupled. So we can send control voltage out of our Alpha 8 and control our modular gear, like I've got here in this demo, controlling my ALM sort of rig, doing some jungle breaks, and our Moog DFAM, uh, just doing a sort of a sweltry bass line. The really cool thing is that I can send out of Ableton, I can go ahead and clock my Pamela's Pro workout to clock the entire rig from the time code. So as I press play, now everything is in sync, playing back with my samples from my, um, my Ableton session and the audio playback. It's all in sync with our modular gear as well. And it just means we're yeah, super in sync. Everything's locked into the, um, the grid and I can just work without having to worry about making everything back in time or trying to patch MIDI sync clock or anything like that. It's all inherent from the interface. That's fantastic, and As man. we can see, so this isn't our clipping. This is our CV uh, run, stop, and tempo coming out of Alpha 8. And then I've got our inputs at the moment coming in from the channels into the SSL 18. And then we can see our metering. And then if I go into our SSL 360 software, I can control all my headphone monitoring via the inbuilt mixer. So let's do that. So part of this now, the SSL 360 software allows me to sort of monitor my analog inputs into the DAW or we can send directly to the headphones for zero latency headphone monitoring. And I can do this for all of our analog inputs. And if I scroll across, we've got, if I had them set up all of my 16 channels of ADAP and then all of my playback returns as well. So this is my sync rate, but I can also do analog external summing via these and then send them to the headphone matrix so we can monitor in real time pre and post door. So it's super flexible. Yeah, loads of options. We can, it's literally anything you can think of, we can manage it via the 360 mixer or in standalone mode and just use it as a straight IO interface. So the power of these two together is really, really high functioning. But also the fact that we can use the Alpha 8 to convert our CV signal out. If our main interface, maybe if it isn't an SSL that doesn't have DC coupled outputs, I can add an Alpha 8 into any existing rig and now I've got DC coupled control that can come out to our analog gear. Great. And how is that? How is the Alpha rig, how is it hooked up to another sound card, for example? So What's it's the connection? ADAT in and out. So it's either via ADAT or SPDIF. So I've got SPDIF in and out on the back end as well. Unfortunately, I can't pull it out and show you. But yeah, so we've got 
eight analog in, eight analog out on jack. So we can go analog in to convert to ADA out, or we can go ADA in to analog out, or spit it into ADA out, or spit it to analog out. Or we can hook it up just via USB 3, plug it in on a USB-C cable, and then that is your audio interface. So we can go into Ableton or Logic Pro Tools and just have that as our main control surface for well, our I.O. And then I've got a headphone output that I can sensor check any input and output to check what we're doing this. But the idea is we'd probably use our SPDIF to a digital DAC for headphone monitoring, or we can just have it going outputs one and two to a, an analog headphone output. So great. it's really, really flexible and it's designed not just to work with SSL interfaces, but will we'll work with anything. That's the idea. And in terms of CV stuff that you've got going on now, like what, what, so what is it doing? I mean, I'm, almost limited by the amount of cables I bought with me compared to what I can actually do. So at the moment, if we go back into live, I've literally got Pamela's Pro Workout being controlled by the ALM plugin PamSync. So that's my clock, and that is clocking my Pro Workout and split to control the tempo sync of the DFAM. I've then got the Squid sampler, literally set up as a MIDI pattern to CV control now I'm playing my brakes on squids so if I go to channel 3 and oh, cues as we're playing I'm jumping through my cue points being triggered via Ableton to play a randomized brake pattern and then all of this is syncing PAMS to control all my effects routings and switching and out and then I've also got another one triggering a Kemi's Tayako to play off pattern sort of bleeps and bloops and I had it patched earlier but I ran a cable out to control the filter so as it plays through the break to the filter I can automate the filters in Ableton via CV and all of this is controllable so that any parameter in the ALM or the Moog setup I can effectively control from my uh, my Ableton rig Fantastic. and then the recalls there. Fantastic so, and um, yeah are they when will they be available? They're How available you can get them right now um, so obviously check with the, your local distributor for an accurate price but very affordable very um, very much like the key to a centerpiece if you're not sort of working with loads of analog but want a little bit of analog the Alpha 8 is a great way to interface 500 series racks or the bus bus and the fusion or even adding an Alpha 8 into uh, something like your big six fire and aggregate device will just give you more output control and more inputs and as well as the CV control as well. Yeah and really versatile I imagine I, I guess this is aimed at all kinds of people. It's literally for, for everyone. So if you've got a small two-channel interface that you love, you're two or two plus, but you need more I.O., but you don't need mic freeze, add an Alpha 8, and now all of a sudden you've got eight more I.O. without having to buy a new interface or change any of your existing setup. And obviously, if you want to move that around between different rigs, if you've got multiple a studio setup and a live setup, you can just move your Alpha 8 between the setups, and then it'll always have extra I.O. where you need it. And again, if you wanted to use it over USB 3, then there you go, that's the option as well. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for showing us, Luke. Oh, we really you very appreciate much for that. Coming over. Wicked. Appreciate your time and uh, catch you next time.